Now, a man convicted of the 1977 shotgun murders in Hollinsburg, Indiana, in Park County, died in his prison cell yesterday. This is a case that is quite disturbing. News 10's Patsy Kelly spoke to the first trooper on the scene and takes us back to that day. Roger Drollinger, determined to be the mastermind behind the shotgun slaying of four innocents. It was a randomly selected home invasion that turned into a gruesome massacre. Investigator Frank Turchi was first on the scene. And I've got my flashlight on the bodies and I'm walking up to the, their feet and I'm looking to see what I, what I can see or if there's anything I need to see. And I remember kept things kept falling on my shirt. I'd brush them off and, and you know, you're not thinking about what it is. And then I remember I, my flashlight, there was like blood on my state police patch. And I, then I looked at the ceiling and the ceiling was just covered with brain material and body tissue and it was just and it was just dropping off the ceiling on me as I stood there. It's what was called a thrill killing in court. This particular one has always haunted me. Drollinger was accused of leading a gang of men that decided to kill just for the fun of it. The older trooper told me when he first saw it, he said, you'll never see anything like this again, I guarantee you. He said, this is the worst thing you'll ever see. The killers invaded the home in Hollinsburg. They then shot and killed four people between the ages of 14 and 22. On this day, they made a blood oath that they were going to kill the people in this robbery and, and for the purpose of just seeing them die. The victim's mother survived by playing dead after one man fired a shot through her wig. She testified against Drollinger. She would sit with me and she would tell the story every night, exactly what happened, what she felt, what she saw. And I think that's part of what helped her keep her sanity over it. How, how anyone can live with the fact that they laid beside their sons and watched them murdered would be uh, it's undescribable. An old newspaper article quoted the judge serving the convicted killer his sentence as saying Drollinger was a prime example of why the state needs a death penalty. The prosecutor wanted the death penalty and all the investigators involved in the case wanted the death penalty. I think it was a clear, clearly a justifiable death penalty case, but uh, at that time it had been repealed in Indiana so we couldn't get it. Then he sentenced the just for kicks killer to life in prison. So life in prison, in my opinion, wasn't good enough. But that's what we got, and that's what we had to live with. In Vigo County, with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Patsy Kelly, News 10. Authorities say they found Roger Drollinger dead in his cell at the Wabash Valley Correctional Facility early yesterday morning. The so-called Hollinsburg murders happened on Valentine's Day. Drollinger's accomplices continue to serve their life sentences. In Drollinger's death, authorities do not believe foul play was involved.